No victim mindset over here. No victim mindset over here. I know the tragedies are happening. People are going through it. You're mourning losses. I get it. I get it. But with all, with going through all of that, and I'm speaking from experience on both sides, do not fall into that victim mindset. Do not, do not become a victim when you're going through all of this. And I'm speaking from someone who every time something would go wrong, the first thing I would do is blame everybody around me instead of taking accountability for myself and figuring out, okay, what can I do? What can I do now to change this? What can I learn from this? What can I do better? What can I do different? What can I do any, anything that I could do besides just blaming everybody else, except besides just taking no initiative, no responsibility for anything that's happened, what could I do? And listen, there's some things I, I can't explain. There's some things I, I don't know why my mom passed away. I don't know why she had to go like that. Some of you out there lost people as well in your life. I don't know why they had to go. I don't, I don't, I don't know. And I don't have that answer. And I probably will never have that answer. But the answers that I have been getting have been changing the way I look at life, how I appreciate life, the way I cherish people, the way I cherish those who are around me. And I had conversations with my mom, let's get right into it, where we knew any minute now, we knew that the days are here, we knew the last days are coming. And she would make it very clear, like, look, you gotta keep going. She told me, while in the bed, tubes all in her, needles all in her, all of that, you gotta keep going. I'm bawling out crying, going crazy on the bed, going, just losing it, losing my mind. She's like, look, you gotta, I know, I know but you gotta keep going. She's, she was telling me, and she's the one that's gonna pass away. You gotta keep going. So with saying, still, and I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. This is why I had to make that video because yesterday I almost fell into that victim mindset again. We're just driving. Actually, before I even started to drive, just getting up. Like, why is all this going on? Why, why, why? why? Bringing it back to me again. Why is this happening to me? What did I do? What is this? Why me? Why all of that? Why is this happening for me? Is the question I had to start asking. Why is this happening for me? Easier said than done, I get it. I know people right now in Jersey, I talk to my people often up there, they're going through it. They don't know where the check is coming. That little 600 that was sent, that immediately went to everything, every bill that was passed due. But you can't fall into that victim mindset. You can't, you can't, you can't, because there has to be lessons in all of this. We have to find the lessons. We have to figure out, okay, what can we do better? What can we learn from this? What can we learn from this that we're able to pass on to somebody else so when they're going through it, we can give them steps and processes that they can, that can help them get, get to where they need to get to. And that's what I do, and that's what I'm here for. Because it's very easy for me to feel like the victim and then turn into a predator. It's very easy for me to go, go that route with all of this that was going on. And a lot of people are feeling the same way. I've spoken to people who feel like that, where they just feel hopeless. They don't know what's gonna be the next step. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, hold on. I can go down a list of people who, just off of, of death and just losing people, I can go down a list of people that I've lost through violence, health reasons. Both parents gone through because of health, health reasons. People that I've grew up with, people that I know, people that I had, I can consider a friend dead. It turns you, it makes you feel, it makes you ask certain questions in life, makes you feel like, okay, why, yeah, why me? And then furthermore, you stop caring. And it's like, that's not the way. That's not the way at all. And it's a work in progress, but I can tell you from experience, it doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't get you anywhere at all. I had a friend of mine, I won't even talk, mention his name, but anyway, he caught a nasty gun charge, like a nasty one. And he got sentenced to six years in Trenton, down in Trenton. If, you, from out, if you're from the North, you know Trenton is, is nothing to play with. And I was talking to him before he went in and he had to just make it clear and just was straight up. He was like, look, I just, I need to go in. 
I did everything wrong. I knew I had it on me. It wasn't his first offense. He had to man up. He couldn't play the victim. And it was honestly, by him going in and coming out, he's a completely different human being. He's a completely squeaky clean human being. But it took something so tragic, like losing your freedom. It took something so tragic by him losing five, six years, if I'm not mistaken, of his freedom for him to realize his ways and his errors. Now, I'm not saying I don't want anybody to ever have to go through something that, that tragic and that severe. I don't want you to ever have to go, something, go through something as tragic, as severe as losing your parent, losing your mom, you know, when they had so much more life in them. They had so much more life. And I want to show them so much more. I don't want you ever have to go through something so tragic of knowing somebody, somebody who loses their life over a, a bad drug deal that's gone wrong. So when I tell you these things, I tell you these stories and I make these videos and I, I use these examples, it's so you don't have to go through something so extreme for you to wake up and realize I could do better, I could do more, I could do something else. I could try this, I could try something, I could try a little bit harder. I could try, I could try, I could just try. I could stick it out. Why not? Why not? Or wait until the unexpected happens and you have no choice but to try, but to keep going, but to go harder, but to keep it together, but to try to keep a smile on your face when you can, when you're hurting inside, when you're dying inside, where you're ready just to turn into that predator by, and go whatever and do whatever. You don't have to go through that. Something to think about. So when you get up and you feel like you just want to give up, and you get up out of a bed, the heat was still on, and yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's a little, uh, there's a little uncertainty. Just we gotta go. We can change the mind frame. We can control that. Which can then, when you think about it, if we can control the mind frame, which can give us a new idea, a new train of thought, a new way of thinking, which can then find the solution, we can change our lifestyle, we can change our current situation. I don't have a choice. I have to think like that. I have to go hard. Because the minute I just want to just throw my hands up and say, no, 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 no. I go back to that hospital in, in that room. I go back, I have many things that I go back to and think about. And I think about it often. That I can't have certain conversations with people anymore. They're, not, they're no longer here. So something to think about. Let's get up. No victims over here. Let's figure it out. Let's fig keep on figuring it out. And let's get to work.